and we're off to Yamaguchi Prefecture. So we made it to Yamaguchi Station and we are going to head to the biggest uh, limestone cave in all of Japan. It's going to be awesome. We're going to take you there and show you what it looks like. There's our bus to the caves. So if you guys didn't know, fuku or blowfish is uh, very popular here in Yamaguchi Prefecture. And this is a rice cracker flavored, not uh, blowfish flavored rice cracker. So let's try it. It is quite fishy. Made it to Akiyoshi-do, the cave. All right, on this Odego trip, we are accompanied by the one and only Polish crew. So we have Kasia. American. I'm American. Oh, yes, American, yeah. <laughs> he's Polish. I'm Polish. Coming. So he's the, uh, so oh, wow, we have three Chris's now on the Odego, on the Odego yeah. trip now. Awesome. Yeah. Don't get confused, guys. So we are heading right there. Brief history about this place. So the limestone that formed this landscape was created 350 million years ago as coral reefs in the southern sea, uh, which is basically formed this plateau that we're about to venture off to right now. So on the way to the cave, we basically have all these stores uh, selling a bunch of fossils and rocks, which is kind of cool. Wow, look how big these koi fish are. Oh my god! Those are huge! Look at that yellow one! Holy! So there's the entrance to the cave. It's about 10 minutes from the station that we just got dropped off at. So it's like really really hot right now here in Yamaguchi Prefecture. I would say uh, right now it's like 85 to 90 degrees um, in Fahrenheit. Sorry you Celsius people, not sure what it is, but it's uh, pretty freaking hot. Oh my god, there's ice cream. Alright, so this is um, pear ice cream, soft cream, uh, and this is the place, so it's like local pear, so I gotta get this, right? I always eat soft cream. <laughs> so this is pear flavored soft cream. Uh, this pear is uh, very famous in this area, so we're gonna try it. Wow, that is so sweet. A sorbet, kind of like a sorbet, but it's really, really sweet. And Japanese pear tastes different from um, American pear, so it's bomb. So we are right there, and we're gonna walk all the way in here. It's supposed to take like an hour there and back. Let's go for an adventure. So if you guys have stayed tuned to our Odigo 47 vlogs, we've been to many caves, but this is supposedly the biggest cave in all of Japan. So uh, looking forward to it. And it's so hot um, outside, but in the cave it's actually kind of cool. The temperature stays around 17 degrees Celsius uh, throughout the whole year. So I guess it's a good time to go in the cave during the summertime, like it is now. So can't wait for it uh, because we are dying of sweat at the moment. Yo, look how blue this water is. That is absolutely gorgeous. Oh my god. So this, as you can tell, is by far the coolest cave we've ever been to. I hope you guys enjoyed because I think this experience is gonna be pretty awesome. Oh my god, that is so big. So this is the top tourist spot here in Yamaguchi Prefecture. I can see why, because this cave is absolutely massive and it's really, really cool. It's actually pretty awesome, but the only thing is, bring a sweatshirt because it did get kind of chilly in here. 17 degrees Celsius, I'm not sure what that is in Fahrenheit, but it's pretty chilly. <laughs> Thank you. 
We're trying to distinguish whether this is fake or not because it looks so fake. Definitely real though. This looks like something made in like the ancient civilization times. This looks pretty cool. Supposedly in the olden days, uh, people used to actually live here during the summer uh, because it would be so hot outside and so cool inside here. I would definitely want to live here uh, during these hot summers here in Japan. It's just sticky and humid, not the greatest. gold pillar right behind me is supposedly the highlight of this cave. It's 15 meters high and 4 meters in diameter, which is the one of the biggest limestones in all of Japan, which is pretty awesome. Alright, we've been in here for about an hour, and we're exiting pretty soon. It actually does take a whole hour to get through the whole thing. It's absolutely humongous. Oh. All right, we just exited the uh, the cave, and now we're gonna head to a really, really blue pond. On our way to the pond. So we made it to the pond, and that is pretty blue. Supposedly there's a lot of minerals in this pond that reflect the color blue, which is why you see it's so blue. And it's actually drinkable, so we're gonna go over there and uh, drink this water. All right, time to get healthy. We're gonna drink blue water. Wow, it's really red there. That's pretty cool. Alright, so I'm gonna fill up my uh, water bottle full of this blue water. Let's see how it tastes. Okay, so I filled up my water bottle with majestic blue water. Now right, we're gonna taste it, see how it is. It smells normal. Well, it's good. One thing for sure though, it is pretty cold, which is nice because it's really hot outside. I'm not sure if I want to drink any more of this. I'm not sure if I trust how clean it is. Oh, see, there's a fish over there. Yeah, I know. I know. Is there fish in your bottom? All right, so we are at a restaurant right next to Ben Ten uh, Pond, and we're gonna have mas, uh, which is uh, trout in English. Uh, that is basically the local specialty here. So basically, uh, it's usually a river fish, but because they are kept in the ponds nearby, which is really clean water, the water I just you know drank, that was the blue water, um, it tastes very, very like fresh and clean, I guess. It doesn't have that very, that kusami feel, like that fishy, smelly feel to it. So we're gonna try and taste it and uh, tell you guys how it is. So we have fried trout, we have grilled trout, what did I say? Grilled trout and sashimi trout, uh, raw trout. And this trout, the way they cut it is really, really different. It's like this really bony sashimi, so that's kind of cool. Chris is digging down right now, loving that trout. So good. It's really, really good. You like it, Cash? Really good. Nice. So these pieces of sashimi actually have bones in them. You just eat them up and gall burn up. So we just finished the trout, and it was absolutely delicious. How was that trout? It was good. Alrighty, so that is going to do it for the vlog. It was really cool. We hit up the cave, hit up the blue ponds, and had some really good trout. Tomorrow we're going to be exploring more of Yamaguchi Prefecture, um, so stay tuned for that. And once again, this is Otago 47, we're traveling to all 47 prefectures. Uh, so stay up to date, we're vlogging every single day. And if you don't know what Otago is, uh, it's a travel website that offers local and exclusive information all about Japan, so check the link in the description down below. And we'll see you guys tomorrow.